Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Fans Toys Warthog. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing we're going to do is take these sections of the wings and just extend them out. They just pull out like that. You then want to raise the arm up. You want to pull out pull up this little panel here. Then you want to take the form and bring it out to the side. You want to take this entire section here and just extend it outward. And you have a panel here you're going to open up and flip the hand in. Close that up. Once that's done, you're going to rotate this entire assembly down onto itself like that and then bring this section down you want to rotate it forward and there's a little tab slot connection right in here so just take that and just tab it in and then close up this little panel right here and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so just bring the arm up open up that little panel bring this out take this forearm section and swing it out on that double hinge, open up this panel, flip in the hand, close it up, and rotate all of this down. Make sure that's out of the way. Rotate all of that down, close, close this up, and there we go. And get that tabbed in to the side. Close up that panel like that. So now you want to take the wings here and untab them. This entire section here is also going to pull out. It helps you just grab, kind of grab it by this section here. And it'll help you just pop all of this out like that. Got this little tab here. You just want to bring that up and that'll loosen all of this up right here. So what's going to happen now is you're going to take this wing section and you want to slide it back on that slider bring it down you want to then rotate the wing up and then rotate it down and you have this little panel here you want to flip down you want to take this section here you want to rotate it up and then bring it forward and then bring it up and it'll clip onto this bar right here just line it up and snap it into place at this point now you can take the rest of the wing and just extend all those hinges and it will just tab in right there. It's a little notch here for a little tab right there, just to kind of clean that wing up. And you have that side all done. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just untab the wing. Sometimes the whole thing will come with it, but you want to make sure that wing comes untabbed as well. So bring all of that down. Bring this little tab up and that will free up this wing section here so again you're going to slide the wing back you want to rotate the wing up and then rotate it down and again bring this panel down rotate the section up bring it forward and then bring it up and clip it in like so and then extend all of these hinges out like that and get that all together. Get those little panels lined up and there you have the wings all done. So now you wanna make sure that these sections here are pulled out as far as they can go because now you wanna grab this whole assembly here, the assembly with his head and you just want to extend this up there we go single that forward and extend all of this up like that there you go it may pull landing gear out with it but that's fine so a couple things we need to do here we have the little faux cockpit here this little tab here you just push it pop that up and rotate it so we have the flat side up top and just bring that back down. Uh, we then want to take his face, rotate it around like so. We want to open up this section here, open that up and open this up, pull 
this section out and then bring all this up and that will all just tab in right there cover up the face cover up everything and that should just line up right there like that and once that is done you want to take this cockpit and rotate it around so you can take this section here and flip this out once that is flipped out you can take this and bring it back on a double hinge and line that up once that's done you can take all this and close it up you'll have a little tab slot connection right here that will lock all that in place and we got that section all done so now what you need to do is you need to extend this whole waist section here just bring it up extend that all the way out like so just kind of keep these wings up and out of your way for now uh, we need to lift up these skirt pieces here so we can take the legs the hips rather and just bring them down like so that's what you want to happen there so do that on both sides it's quite stiff there we go bring those legs down you want to rotate the thighs inward like that so that way they can be in the middle you kind of bend the knees too this will just make these next couple steps a bit easier so now you want to take these side panels here shift them down on that double hinge shift it down on that double hinge just bring that down get make sure everything's kind of lined up here so everything is sitting nice and straight so now what's going to happen is you're going to bring the wings down you have a little tab slot connection that's going to happen right in here and that should line up and then you want to bring this down there's a tab slot connection right here so you bring that down and tab that in like that and do the same thing with the other side just bring that down line it up and tab that in right there and that's what you should be working with right now so now for the legs, you're going to just bring the foot down, get that out of the way. You want to untab this little section here, open that up, and you want to untab this little panel right here, and just extend that out. And you can open all of this up now. It does slide up, so you can kind of pull this up like so just kind of get it out of the way because you need to get a good grip on this because we need to extend this section here and this can be quite tight so this just gives you a little bit more of a solid base to hold on to and you can just grab this and extend it and it's quite tight and kind of scary okay there we go we got it that part is legit scary honestly um so what's gonna happen here is you want to take this section and you want to rotate it so it's oriented this way you want to take this little bit here and flip that in and then just kind of curl all that in so it's sitting like that so what's going to happen here is you want to bring the leg forward on this hinge here so it fills in this white area just bring that forward so it's sitting like that you want to bend this hinge in like so so it's looking like that you then want to rotate this section here so the screw is facing the back it's going to bring that up and that'll help you give you the leverage you need so rotate it because you want that little screw that black screw there facing back and you can rotate this forward like so and just push all that forward and then this section will rotate down and all of this should just drop down in here. You're gonna have a little tab slot connection that happens in there. So just drop all that down and that should just seat itself right in there. Again, get all that pushed forward and that's pretty much how you want that looking right there. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just bring that foot, extend that foot down, untab this little section here, undo this, just bring that down. You can bring this out. Again, this whole section slides up, so slide it up and kind of rotate it. Again, just so you can get it out of the way so you can get a better grip on this and pull this out. 
This side is a bit more cooperative, thankfully. There we go. So now that that is done, again, just bring this section forward and bend this section in. So we're looking like that now. And then you want to kind of rotate that bit up so that black screw is now facing the back. Then you can rotate this forward, rotate all of this. And of course, tuck all this in, tuck all that in, and then rotate all of this down. And I'm sorry if this is not the most easiest thing to follow, but it's not the easiest transformation, so it's kind of hard to properly describe what you're doing here, but I'm doing my best. There you go. Just drop all this down, and everything should interlock right there and right there. There we go. And we should end up with that. So the last thing we have to deal with here are the feet. So you're gonna take this panel here and open it up. And you're gonna open up this panel here, bring that out, and then this section will swing out to the side. You have this panel here, which will come up to fill that in. Then we can take this section and swing it out. And this panel here will come up and then we can have these two sections meet like so and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so bring this panel down bring this section up you also want to bring out this little landing gear with it make sure that comes with it swing this out bring this panel up to finish that off then bring this out so you can swing this around and then close it back up. You can bring that little gear down. And now it's just time to merge the two together. So you want to rotate these sections up. Just rotate them up like that. And then just rotate these sections down. And that should get everything aligned. You're going to have a little tab slot connection right here. It goes right there. It's going to plug into the side right there. So just kind of get all that lined up, get all that lined up, and once you do, all that should just pop together like so, straighten all that out, and there you go, there you have Warthog in his alt mode. So now to get him back into robot mode. Gonna take all this and just split it like so. You just kind of swing these up a little bit. You gotta rotate these sections down some. So what's gonna happen here is we're going to just open up this section so we can swing this around. You wanna bring this panel down and then just take all this, wrap it around. We're gonna swing all this back in. You wanna close this panel first. And it will tab in, bring that up, and that will snap in right there. And there you have a foot all done. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just kind of rotate things around. You swing all that around just to get things how you want them. Open this up. Swing this panel in and around. You can bring this back down. Bring that panel down. Take all this, wrap it around. You want to get this section tabbed in first, close that up, and there you have your feet done. So now we're going to split this whole section here, so just get all of this untabbed and brought out, get all this swung out, and we can start working on all of this here. So again, just going to swing all this out, rotate this section here so that black screw is now facing up it's just gonna get all that straightened out there so now what we need to do we need to rotate the foot around because you can see it's offset so rotate the foot around bring this out bring that out rotate this around this will collapse downward and then you can bring this section down, 
this section will just wrap around. There is a little nub right here that will facilitate this slot right there. Just bring all this around, wrap it all around, like so. This little section will tab in right here. So get all that just kind of squeezed up like that. And the foot will come up and will sit right there. You basically want this hinge here on the side. That's how you want that like looking. And then you just want to compress all this back up, which again can be a little hard to do. There we go. So you got that leg all done. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just going to bend the knee, get that out of the way so you have your clearance. So swing all that around. Swing that over so that screw is now facing you. So all the screws are on the same side as you can see here. So now just swing all this around, open all of this up, make sure that foot stays down. Take all this, collapse it down, wrap it around, and swing this around. Again, just gotta rotate that foot. Swing all this around. Again, all of this will just lock up here. There's also a tab slot connection right in here for this section as well. So, be mindful of that. Make sure the foot is out of the way. So you can wrap all that around, like so. And once that is done, you just kind of rotate. Oops. There we go. Get this rotated as well. This needs to be rotated a specific way. This rotates independently of this section here, so this can be a bit of a pain to get turning. There we go. We want it oriented like that. So there we go. So we can have that. Bring that foot up, and then compress all that down. And again, it's kind of hard to do. Ugh. Sometimes it helps if you bend the knee and then use the leg for leverage. But again, just Exercise some caution. There we go. And I'll just pop itself in. And there you have that section done. So one thing to note, you do want to make sure those legs are fully compressed in. So this red is sitting pretty much flush with the white section here. You don't want to see that hinge. It just takes a lot of force to do it. Again, this part is kind of scary. But um, anyway, now that that's done, you want to take these panels here and flip them up. That will release the wings. So you want to get the wings up and out of your way. You can now take the legs, the hip sections here and just rotate that up and pop those into place. Again, this is also ah, kind of stiff there, but you can see how that just pops right in there. Same thing on the other side. Just kind of bend that and then just kind of push it up. It should just pop itself in like that. And then you can rotate the feet. So they are now facing forward and get all of that situated there. Oh, this side wasn't popped up all the way. There we go. And you're working with that. So now you want to take these side panels here and just bring them up on that double hinge and just compress them up like that. And now you want to bring down this entire waist assembly. So you have two double hinges here to work with. So you want to make sure that this hinge, this hinge folds in and this hinge right here folds out. So you're basically doing this move right here and then it'll all just compress down and in. And we'll look like that when it's all done. So now to get all this situated, you want to undo these panels right here, these little locking panels. Undo that so you can open this up like so. Just bring that up as far as they'll go. And you want to take this cockpit here and you want to shift it forward so you can rotate this in. Then you can rotate this around. That'll sit right on top of it. Come back here to the back of his head. Just flip up this little section here. Rotate it 180. And again, this will make the little faux cockpit on the back of his head. Then you want to open all of this up. This will fold down. And then this will flip in. 
That will flip in. You can bring up the uh, landing gear with it. You can take its face and just rotate that back around. Like so. And once that is done, you're going to collapse all of this in using this double hinge here. Just take it and just swing it down. And it'll just collapse down like that. So now for the wings, you want to take this section here and unclip it. Very tight clip. Oh. Come on. There we go. Let's unclip this section, bring it down, swing it in, and then rotate it down. Then this little panel here will just come up with it. And just undo the wing here. I'm going to rotate all of this downward, take the wing itself, bring it forward on that slider, and we'll just leave that as is for now. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So undo this little section here. And again, it's a very tight clip. I'm going to do the wing here. There we go. Bring that down. Swing that in. Bring that down. And flip that up. Rotate the wing up. And then just slide that section forward. So to get these wing sections back into position, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to bring this section up and then bring that down. That'll lock all that together. So now with the wing, what you want is you want this panel right in here to go down. So make sure that this panel here gets flipped downward like that and then it will all collapse up like that and then you have two tabs you have two slots right here and you just line everything up and it'll just pop in and you want that looking like that and there you have that tabbed in and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so first thing we're going to just get these two sections together bring that down that will lock them together so again, you want this panel right here rotating downward. So rotate that down and then all of that will just collapse and we'll just tab itself in right to that. Straighten all that out. And that's how you want that looking. And we're pretty much at the home stretch here. So just untab the arm from the wing, bring it down. You want to open this little panel up here. You want to swing this out. You want to rotate all of this up. Open up this panel here. Flip out the hand. Close that back up. And then this section will just compress back in. You can bring all that up. Close that up. Rotate the arm down. And you got that all done. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just untap it from the wing. Bring it down. Open up this little panel here. Bring that up, rotate this up, open up the panel, flip up the hand, close that up, and then just compress that forearm in that double hinge. Get that together, bring that panel down, rotate the arm down, and last thing to do is take these panels here and they just accordion in like that on either side and just compress those in like that just zigzag them in and there you go there you have warthog in his robot mode